Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Poke Adventure Season, Season two. 2! In the last episode, we took on the Kimono Girls, and... Cody did something off screen. I did something off screen. I... My egg hatched. It was not... An elegant. It was not. It was, it was a Cleffa. Which is really cool. Yeah. But he also did something else. Yep. I, I was so angry. I'm like, I need an electric type now. So I went west of town and I caught an electric type. He did. Say hello to Magnemite. Also, say hello to Caliban. This is my Eevee. Aww. Really good stats, actually. Very Holy good hell. stats. Um, and also Magnemite, caveat in this version, since steel types were introduced, Magnemite is a steel type. Makes sense. Yep. It's a big floating hunk of steel. So with all that out of the way, uh, it's time to take on the gym leader, and this is possibly the hardest puzzle of all the gym puzzles. In Gen 2. I think it's like the only puzzle. Well, no, because you got... Chuck has one. Price. Price does too, yeah. yeah. Three gym puzzles out of way too many gym leaders. Ping! He has a ghastly. Gas, Rick Gastly. Oh, it's a level 16 Gastly. So my Gastly is going to be okay. Never gonna let you down. God, Gastly looks so cool when All right, Magnemite. I actually have a pretty even fight. Let's see what happens. Thundershot. Oh, you're slow. You're slow. But you are strong because you are steel. Yeah, plus Ghost is special. Or Ghost is physical, so you're gonna have a really good defense against that. One might say you have a good defense against the dark arts. Oh no, my Thundershock went down by four. I already have so few of those to begin with. Like, what, 30? I know. Ooh. My only hope is that I can level up and Nightshade will get more powerful. Because Nightshade can't crit. I lost a total of six levels now. Six Thundershocks. That's a lot of Thundershocks. That's a lot of Thundershocks. There's level 23. Any new moves? Show me a move. Wow, special attack at almost 60. That is Redong. Unless. No, just Redong. Redong, Redong. Like Redonk. Willy the Wong. I heard that they were doing. This is completely off topic. Many of you don't. If, if you know, great. Right? If not, um, I majored in theater in college. You did. It took um, a long time. Long time. And uh, they are actually coming out with a new version of Willy Wonka the Stage Musical. It's completely different. It's actually called Charlie and Chocolate Factory, debuting it on the West End. The last musical on Paralyzed was Willy Wonka, just called Willy Wonka, premiered at the Kennedy Center when I was in high school. So, um, This new iteration, I think, is going to be a lot darker, truer to the book in that regard, which is kind of cool. Yeah, if you've ever read the book, you know what we're talking about, but if you've never read the book, holy crap, read the book. I, it's 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 much more close to the uh what's his name hmm? Tim Burton. It's much closer Tim to Burton the Tim was, Burton Tim adaptation. Burton was truer, actually truer in the book, which is weird to say because Alice in Wonderland movies were terrible. Well, the first one was good. The most recent one was I didn't. I I could follow it because I I. I can follow plots like that. Except Civil War. It was essential. This was my, this to me. Oh, I gotta get Magnemite out of there. This okay. new, uh, this new Alice in Wonderland movie was like Tim Burton saying, "Let's do our own Civil War. <laughs> Let's have like 60 <laughs> characters who all have their own plot point." <coughs> but the problem was, the last Alice in Wonderland movie was what, like six years ago, roughly. Whereas the last Marvel movie was. What, five weeks ago? So it's like, I don't know, that's how I kind of gauged it. Is it, was a, it was essentially a civil war all of its own. And you kind of see what I mean by that. You were, one, you were one of the big proprietors who thought uh, civil war had too much going on. It, it, just in terms in of way. just the characters. I could understand what they wanted what they were doing. That wasn't a problem. It was just it, having them there just for the sake of having them no rhyme or reason. We've beat that horse to death. We have. So I'm cool with this. Cool. And you know what, Krabby's? Oh, God, mean look. Well, you're screwed. You're stuck. Krabby Surf actually wasn't that bad. Took out half a gas the previous gas so. You have to put. You have to chalk Look that at her up. eyes. I do love medium. My God. You have to chalk that up to Ghastly having terrible special defense. I have no idea how this is going to go. I don't know. Let, let's watch this. It's going to hit me. Oh, it's going to lick me. 
You know, I'm not used to using a Ghastly or its family because I don't know the last time I've used a Ghastly. Spike. Please don't be Surf. Yeah, well, it has to be Surf. Four. It ha it's essentially the same as Disable. It goes after your last use. Bubble. The bubbles. I think Bubble is one of the most disgusting moves in the TV series. Because it's essentially not like not like this game where it looks like they're spitting bubbles like at force. Yeah. They're kind of just frothing at the mouth. Krabby 17 and his attack is almost 50. Well, and then you look at freaking Froakie, the frog type water yeah, starter. Yeah. You know that shit around its neck? Yeah. That's its bubbles. Oh, it God. takes them and throws them. And oh. you know, uh, what's the last Greninja? That scarf it wears? Tongue. Oh. It's disgusting. At least Samurott was kind of cool. Pulls out a sword. Dude, Samurott nice. was the coolest. <laughs> Samurott was the coolest. I love Samurott. Special attack 60. One more level and I'm involved. I need to heal my Magnemite because he just, he just got wrecked. Let's try Polyswag. Polyswag. You know what? I'll use one of my m numerous Purse Kerper. Oh, I got two. Your numerous first Kirk. I have one. <laughs> yeah, I, I miss that mechanic in this game, actually. The whole uh, berry farming. Oh, that where was, you could plant I, your I own. love that in Gen 3. Gen 3 was good. Gen uh, Gen 4 was better, except in Heart Gold Soul Silver, where there were no plots. You had to literally carry around a little. God, those eyes. It's just a little berry farm. I never checked mine. I have citrus berries that are probably rotten. You know, I, I really love the introduction of the treehouse mechanic, the secret base. Oh my god, they! I'm really glad they brought that back in uh, Omega and Alpha Soul. Oh, yes. But they need to bring it back more because you know what? I wish they bring back Gen Four. It was the the underground treasure. The game. underground. Yes, I love that because I'm I'm an archaeological nut. <laughs> he is. God, what was that show that? I don't know if it got renewed for a second season because the premise behind it was like a one season thing. What? Curse of Oak Island. Oh no! It got it was on two seasons. They're recording season three. Are they? What? Yes. Did they not find it in the first two seasons? No, they found they found proof the money pit was actually legit. <laughs> See, that's just, that, to me, it feels like they know it's there. Well, at the end of that season, because they, they mentioned that the three boys found the pit, their descendants actually came to Oak Island, and because each of them found a treasure chest with stuff in it, yeah. they actually gave him what was in his treasure chest and showed it to him. It was oh, really that's cool. cool. So, there was credence to this. Um, they did get to the bottom of 10X, that pit that one guy dug. And they found stuff in the money pit. They actually found some gold, I think. Season three is them just. Doing they're probably the same ju thing. they're probably recording this summer as we speak because the seasons are similar between here and Canada. That's true, yeah. And they had another one too. Was the guy who some guy who owned a shipwreck? I think it was like the SS America or something that went down with all that money that paddle wheel boat. Yeah, I heard about that. I think I don't know if that was just a one season wonder or what. That's a haunter, Magnemite. I'd be surprised. If you you, you just took a haunter down. I didn't realize it. I just went off. Yeah, you were doing another haunter. <laughs> You're also cursed. So Where have I been? I don't know. I thought you knew what you were doing. No, wait, I was monologuing. God, he, when he monologues, it's he loses dangerous. all sense of everything he's doing. All right, Krabby. Let's see how you do. During D&D &D sessions sometimes, he'll be monologuing as the DM, and we'll just all be talking behind his back, and he'll be like, so what do you do against the dragon? And it's like, we've already killed the dragon, you, and what? we're no. it right no. now. What? Yeah, you... What? The dragon was monologuing and had no idea that we had just slid its throat. Just, he's just talking as, you know, limbs are being dismembered, just not even wincing. Nope, never wincing. Please note that both of my under-level 20s have been picking apart these haunters. It's true. He's doing remarkably well. Yes. And I will admit, you're Krabby. He's holding his own. Your Krabby is holding its own. Let's look at its stats. My Krabby? Yeah. Now, mind you, Magnemite... I've, I've... Well, let's look at Magnemite, too. Sure. Magnemite's got a pretty decent special. It's got a special, special. And if you actually go... I would say if you just go that way... Oh, yeah, it's that's really 40. good. Yeah, it's decent. And Krabby was 11, so Krabby had a long way to go. Yeah. Krabby's attack's almost at 50, I think. Or wow, Krabby's... Well, God, 16. <laughs> I'm gonna chalk it up to the fact that all of the, uh... All the Ghastly have terrible special defense. Yeah. 
Let's chalk it up to that. At, at some point, I'm going to be siphoning some money aside to buy some vitamins to help with special the, the problem with the vitamins, though, They cap out after a while. They do cap out after a while. But they don't influence, like, your IVs, the your... hidden values. Yeah. Like, how how, uh, how high does Krabby's special attack go up each level? That's one thing to look at, because if oh, it only goes up by one, you need to change your Krabby. You will need to release that Krabby and get a new one. Well, plus when it evolves into Kingler, I want to see how much it goes up. Oh, God. That'd be dangerous. That's already 27, though. Too bad Magnet might can't evolve further in this game. Oh, like into Magnet Zone. Magnet Zone into what Gen 4? Yeah. Ooh, hello, voice crack. Yeah. Hello! Yeah, Magnet Zone in Gen 4 was really cool. You know what else was cool in Gen 4 in oh. Platinum? You could catch a nose pass, walk into the Mount Coronet right next, like, right where you caught it. Probe pass. And immediately evolve it into a Probe pass. I loved it. I love Probe pass. Right, I see. I had loved Nose Pass for a long time when I first met it against Roxanne. Yeah. But I was like, no, I'll never be able to use one of these. And then I was able to use one. <laughs> and then it was a not a legit version Ooh, of Platinum. Dark. Growlithe is useful. Did you forget about that? Yeah. Nice. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, Polly Swagger, you gonna evolve for me? He will. Twenty four, maybe. Oh no, I thought he leveled twenty five. I thought. I think it might be twenty four. I thought it was twenty five. I could nope, I was wrong. Hey, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna showcase what happens when you lose your stepping. By oh, the way. yep, you just you kind of fall through a hole. Oh, wait. So his one. only go up by one. You might need to reevaluate Krabby's. Go just go catch a bunch in between episodes. Cause I mean it's only ten o'clock right now. Do you want to record another one after this, or do you want to? What? I thought we were gonna at least get through the gym later. Oh yeah, well. We're in the gym leader episode still. I was figuring we were going to record to at least the lighthouse tonight. So we can do that. Yeah. To the lighthouse. We'll also evaluate his Krabby off camera. Yeah. It's okay though. You didn't nickname yours, so hypothetically, the no thing one would is, ever I know. I want to at least hold on to him while I get a good rod. That way, I can catch him a little more frequently at better levels. And I have a more oh. Are you at the last channeler, by the way? I'm battling the last channeler. Or the medium? Medium. Yeah. God, I wish. I wish, I wish. I was a There's fish. not enough battles to level him up to evolve. That's not cool. And Caliban is useless. Well, Caliban's not useless. Caliban's actually pretty useful. Yeah. But Hollyswag is one away from evolving too. And that just peeves me off because I don't <laughs> have a rare candy. Wah. Berea is going to be useful as crap. Can anyone learn anything? Baltimore can learn all the punches. That's true. Um. Oh God, do I want to use a tract? Uh, oh, dude, his are all males. Well, yeah, but and look at all my team. I know, but then who are you gonna face in that? Well, Jasmine's are genderless. That won't do you any good. No, Jasmine's aren't genderless. She has a Steelix. Well, I mean, she has Magnemites. So yeah, well, I don't care about those. I'm not gonna use it. Is my is my elected a girl? Yes, it's a girl. Am I? Okay, hold on. Let's look at my spread. It's female, male, male, male female, female, male, female. Ah, 50-50. I did good. <coughs> Come on, Growlithe. Kick its butt. It's trying. Okay. That's fine. Mean look. There's one thing I remember about Marif and Pokemon Gold. What? <laughs> it's, uh, for some reason, when I had the guidebook for Pokemon Gold, someone was in this gym with a Marif still. What? And it was like, go ahead. The picture was with Ghastly using na uh, Curse or Haunter using Curse. Yeah. And the caption was, yeah, go ahead and stab yourself with a nail, Haunter. I'll just retreat and go around it. Because that's what you, with Curse, <laughs> yeah. you can just swap out. Just swap out. Growlithe, beat him. Kill him, Growlithe. I'm trying to think. Eventually, when he becomes the Arcanine, is there a way I can... I don't want to keep... Flamethrower. Or is that the last one I want to flamethrower last time? I think. 
Uh, let me or double check the Pokedex. Because it learns extreme speed as an Arcanine at a certain level. It does. I think it's the same level it learns Flamethrower. So my Rowlet. question is, is there any way I can go back and relearn extreme speed? No, there's no move relearner. <sighs> Rowlith in Crystal. Flamethrower is 50. Last move. And extreme speed for Arcanine. Arcanine is... 50. You don't miss anything. So it's either flamethrower or extreme. No, you get both. It learns flamethrower as a growl if you evolve it, and it will automatically learn extreme speed. If it's still 50. Yeah, as long as it's 50. All right. Okay, let me heal up the party real quick, and we should be good to go. That's one of the things I've always liked, is because, like, with Tangela, yeah. as soon as it learns ancient power by, you know, relearning, you can evolve it any time, and it will... Tangela. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a specific level. save real quick. 20 Pokemon 20. as opposed to my 18. Hey, you're not too far behind. But I also didn't catch as many in the bug catching contest. Alright. Good of you to have come. It's Morty. Here in Ecrotique Pokemon. Have been reading. Rick and Morty. Oh my god, where's Rick? Rick Gastly and Morty. Morty. Yeah, Morty. Oh. Oh god, I would have had a great episode title. Could've. I'm using it anyway. Screw it. That's the episode title. You should see uh, Gas Gasly, the Gasly formula of the script. That'd be a long ass title. Uh, description. Maybe. Alright, speaking of Gasly, Gasly, his first Pokemon is a level 21 Gasly. And there it goes. And okay. Yep, that's in the bag. Project Bayleaf is scrapped. <laughs> well, you never know, it might wake up. Who oh, your Bayleaf might be pretty bulky. Special defense-wise, it's a grass type. Maybe, maybe. Nope. Wow. Nope. Not wow. That was that was horrifying to watch. Oh, of course. Who else do you have? I have Krabby. I have Magnemite, and I have a newly revivified Geodude. Magnemite. See if you can get a Thunder Wave off. Is it no Thunder Wave? Supersonic. My best bet is a Thunder Super Shock. Supersonic will be fine. It, it won't affect it. No, physical normal moves won't affect it. Thunder or Supersonic will affect it. Okay, let's try it. Oh no, I won't have a chance to. Because here's the thing. Thunder Wave will affect anything. Uh, poison Powder can affect Poison types. Sleep Powder can affect Grass types. You can burn a Fire type. You can freeze an Ice type. If just because it's normal doesn't mean it won't actually hit it. Yeah. If it's tackle, it won't hit it. Yeah. Hypnosis is normal and it would hit a Gengar. It hit my Oh Shadow Ball just for It stuff. hit my Ghastly. What's in him? That's my reasoning. Okay. Krabby. Uh, Get some sick surfs off. Hey Will! Krabby! It's all you, buddy! Hashtag Krabby Love. Hashtag Krabby Love? Let's see what it does. Wow. Krabby, son of a bitch. Alright, just, just end. Son of a bitch. Just end. Just, just die, Krabby. Just, just die. Just, just, just die. Brody puts all his eggs in the basket. Well, he used a mean look. He didn't use a dream eater. Did he run out of dream eaters? He could've. He might have. I mean, he used about 20 of them. Ha <laughs> ha! Shadow Ball. Yeah, yeah he hypothetically, out. he's out of Dream Eaters. But, but now, I mean, if you want to use all your potions... I only have one potion left. You have me truly really fucked up. Nah, this is why whenever I get into these situations, I just choose to lose. I don't want to run through all my potions. Okay. Well, no matter what, we'll be back in for a moment because... Oh. Because I have an evolution. <laughs> That's the end of Geo, dude. But look, our savior has arrived. Haunta. <laughs> this will be the this will be the difference, I think. Honest to God, this could be the difference between me winning and me losing. Well, you who took that shadow ball like a champ though, because it's physical. Tell you what, you know what? I'm not using my I have a gold. No, I'm saying that. Okay. All of a sudden, it stats. I suddenly, see me. <gasps> That special attack that I'm never gonna be able to use. 63 speed. 
impressive. And look, I'm dead. Let's see, all my Pokemon are decently fast, so I think I'm gonna call myself Team Flash. Okay, so in the next episode of Poke Adventure Season 2, we'll be back with a bit stronger of a team. Uh, we'll catch you guys later.